Hi and welcome to another episode of The Tech Corner. I'm Lars Ballow and uh, today I am working from my home office in Copenhagen. So the things that we need to look at today is coordinated meeting, how you can add a Microsoft Teams rooms and a Surface Hub, which I have right here and I have the Teams rooms over there. So how you can make them work together as easy as possible for the end users. So let's start by showing the screen. I'll change my mouse and my keyboard to the system over here. Let me see. I'll simply hit more and go into the settings. Then go there like that. Hit the default password with this SFB or change it as soon as possible. Go to the coordinated meeting and then hit this button. The first step is how you would like the microphone to act on the system. By default, it's on. Normally, we would have great microphones and speakers on the system, so why not use that? But for instance, if you would like to have the system running with the microphones and speakers from the Surface Hub, you would also be able to do that. And then you simply just <clears throat> undo this button and make sure that it is ticked down here, because then you would actually be able to have by default on the Surface Hub, but when you go to the Teams rooms and you want to add those microphones and speakers, then you would be able to start the microphones and speakers on the way. But since we're on the Teams rooms, I my preferred way of doing it is to have the microphones from the Teams rooms, the camera from the Teams rooms, but then making sure that the Microsoft whiteboard or the content is not enabled on the Microsoft Teams rooms because since we have the Surface Hub right here, making sure that we get the best interactivity from that one. And then the last part is to go down here, and I'm really sorry, but it is really difficult to see what I'm writing right now, but you will need to add the account that you would need to work with. So the trusted account that you would like the Teams rooms to call. So in this case, I'm using within the same tenant, making sure that I'm writing everything correctly. Uh, let me do like that. Like that. There you go. So now I've entered the trusted account that I want the Teams rooms to work with. So I'm writing the account from the Surface Hub right here. I still haven't done anything on the Surface Hub. So I'll simply just hit save and exit. And then you're more or less ready to, to go. So this is one of the settings that you could do on the Teams rooms. If you want the Surface Hub to act on the same way, making sure that it is in the same scope uh, you would need to do some settings on the Surface Hub itself. But it's not as simple as to do that on the Surface Hub. In that case, I would need to show you how you do the provisioning file and then add it to the Surface Hub. But in this case, it's actually some of the ways that I like to do it just on the Teams rooms itself. Because let me go back to my PC for the recording. In this case, I've set up the system with the coordinated meeting, let me show you like this. So I simply hit the button, take my mouse over there, I'll simply hit the button on the join. And then what is happening is that the system is actually calling my Surface Hub right behind me. So there we go, and I can simply hit the so it says make MTR Denmark wants you to join coordinated meeting and then I'll hit the video button and then it's starting up. There you go, and then it's start up. Yes, and sorry about that. Of course, since we haven't done any settings on the surface up, that one will also turn on the microphones. So right now it's not the best scenario, but it's still working pretty good. One of the scenarios where I like this setup is actually if you're not having a room where everything is planned to be in the same room all the time, I like this setup because then you are able to have the video feed on the Teams rooms and then you would have the content feed on the Surface Hub or at least the Microsoft Whiteboard, which is normally also 
what I'm using most of. So let's just have a short break and then I do some recordings on how you can do uh, the provisioning file for the Surface Up. It's not as easy as this one, then you would need to go into the configuration manager and making sure that you set up the system as you would like to have it. So be right back. So back again, we have done the configuration of the Teams room. So now we need to do the configuration of the Surface Up. So I just realized that I don't have um, the Windows configuration designer on my company PC. So I'll drop to my private PC, check the mouse and uh, keyboard over there as well. So first of all, uh, what I normally do is go to the Edge browser and simply search for coordinated meeting on Surface Up, and then you would get to Microsoft Docs where you have all the information about how to set up the Microsoft Teams rooms, and then also the Surface Up. Since the Teams rooms, in my opinion, is that easy to do, we already did that, uh, and then we just need to go down here to do or to create the XML file to make sure that we also set up the Surface Up for the coordinated meetings. So simply go and copy this information, open a node, and then let me do like this. So hopefully we'll be able to see everything uh, here. Then paste the information in here. And then like all videos on the internet, I have cheated a little bit already. So one of the things that you will need to be aware of to do the configuration file or the provisioning file is that when you copy this information and paste it into the notepad, make sure and then that all the information is on one line, otherwise the provisioning file will not be created correctly. But let's go through the information that I've done so far. So the coordinated meetings is then set up to true. The audio is set up to false since that we have enabled the team rooms to do the audio and then also the video, of course. But then we have enabled the video to true since that it's quite nice that you actually are able to turn on the video feed from the surface up during a call. So by default, it's turned off. But if the users want to enable it during the call, they can actually do that. The whiteboard is set to false. And then the trusted accounts that you would need to enter right here is the account on the Teams rooms. So in this case, I'm using Smet MTR Denmark at tdmerignautics.onmicrosoft.com. And then we we'll just put all information in one line, copy all the information, and then I go and search for Windows config. No, that was not right. Windows. Windows configuration designer and go here just takes a little while and then it will be able to open up the configuration. So right here, I'm creating a provisioning file for the surface hub. Let's call it Copenhagen. And then hit finish. <clears throat> And then we are done with this one, then you would need to go into the advanced editor right here. Yes, please. Do like this, hit the runtime settings and then going down to the surface up settings. And then again down to the team settings. And then make sure that you paste all the information that you just copied right here. The next thing is to go to the export and then create a provisioning package. Let's still call it Copenhagen and then hit next, next, and next. And then actually build the configuration file and then hit finish. So this is everything that you need to do to create the package. Let's go and search for it. Copenhagen, open in file location. There we go. I want to make sure that I put it on my USB stick in the root. There we go. 
just making uh sorry that was the wrong one this is actually the provisioning file so i'll hit this one and add it to usb and making sure that i have the file right here probably should do it the right way and eject this one and then i take my usb stick and plug into the back of the surface up which is not always easy to find when I've done that, I'll go to all apps and the settings on the server up. This is only being able to be done by an admin. So hitting this one, go right up here to the server up, to the device management, and then add and remove a provisioning package. So simply hit the add a package. It's in the removable media and then hit Copenhagen and add that file then you would need to add um, the admin password again and yes add the provisioning package then I'm always doing a restart after this unplugging the USB stick and then we are actually able to do coordinating meetings together with my Microsoft Teams rooms which is right here let me see if I can go and do like this. So going back to my own PC where I'm doing the recording from. So right here I have the team rooms doing the coordinated meeting already uh, right here. So then we just need to make sure that the Surface Hub is rebooting and ready for the next session. And then we should be able to go and do a meeting together with the service up. So what I've created right now is just a meeting uh, and invited the Microsoft Teams rooms. It's running on two different um, accounts, but you would only need to invite one of the systems. So in this case, I invited uh, the Microsoft Teams rooms. And then you can see up here, the service up is available the rest of the day. There's absolutely no meetings at all um, on the service up. But let's go and do like this. Uh, there is probably some noise going on since that we're having microphones all over. So I'll try to hit the join button and mute the mic and the speakers. And there you go. So we have the surface up. Let me go back to this picture. So the surface up is actually in the call already. And as you see right here, it did start up with the Microsoft whiteboard because it is running as the secondary display. And then we would be able to go here. Let me see if I can sign into my private PC into the Teams. I hopefully invited that one as well. So it's, it's quite easy for the users to do the coordinated meeting since that they only need to think of hitting the join button as they normally do. And then I join the meeting from my PC. I think I will join without using audio since that, that would be a mess. And then I have it right here. I'm joining the call, being able to see everything what is being done on the team rooms, of course, but then also again, if I want to share any information at all, I can go and do the exit of the full screen. You can see, um, well, you can't see that, but I am into the call. And then I can hit, um, uh, how do you say, the, the, the share button. And then I would be able to go full screen like this. <clears throat> and if you let me try to change to this one instead. So here we go. This is the, the PC input that I got. I'm ready to do um, the drawing in here. So I'm being able to, to walk up and try to work on a schedule like this. And then everybody's being able to be seen exactly what is written on the system. And then again, if you want to do any changing on the MTRs during the call, you would also be able to go walk up to the Teams rooms like this and hit the settings right here so you will be able to see the, the how do you say the combined view or the gallery view 
over here. So there is like all the options you would like you would like to have. So this was all about the coordinated meeting. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it is a great setting, and be aware that this can be done with a Teams rooms and a Surface Up, but it could definitely also be used with two Surface Up side by side, or by two Microsoft Teams rooms if you would like that as well. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for spending the time with me. See you out there. Bye.